Hello there, and welcome to the Simon Trays channel. I am Simon Trays, or something I have to call me Simon Trays. Today we are in the Birmingham area, filming four stations between Birmingham New Street and Birmingham International. So we're calling out today at the following principal stations. The first one we are at is Attenley Park, Stetchford, Lee Hall, and our last station today, Marston Green, which is just outside Birmingham International. Now you've seen all the four stations we are visiting today between Birmingham New Street and Birmingham International. So we're going to find out which one is the youngest station out of the four and which one is the oldest station out of the four and also fill some trays passing through. So I'm going to roll the intro now and meet you at Rouge Town Railway Station. Hello, my name is Simon and I'm a rail enthusiast to the town of Rouge in Staffordshire. And I also use the railway to travel around the country. These are my journeys across the United Kingdom by the Iron Rails, which sometimes can be successful and end up in a disaster. The block now approaching this YouTube channel is the next Siren Trains Railway journey. And I welcome you to this service. So please sit back and enjoy the adventure. So we're going to start our journey off today at Rougie Town Railway Station. Now luckily the train that I'm catching, the 0924 to Bergen International, actually stops at every single station that I'm planning to stop at today. So instead of changing at Bergen New Street, I'm actually going through Bergen New Street to get to Adderley Park, which is my first location. But we're just filming four stations on the bottleneck between Bergen New Street and Bergen International today. So it's going to be a Midlands one today. But I need to be at the end of the platform because I need to catch this 0924 to Adderley Park which goes on to Birmingham International.
So after our journey from Rouge to Trent Valley to this station, we've been here over half an hour now and this is Adderley Park Station. When the Atlantic West Coast services depart Birmingham New Street, this is the first station they pass on their 112 miles and 73 chain journey down to London Euston. It's a bit different with the 350s because they've got to go through Northampton. But we are getting some Atlantic West Coast services through here, some London North Western Railway services through here, some Transport for Wales services passing through here, and some cross country train services passing through here. The only train that actually stops here is the Rouge Trent Valley to Birmingham International Services. It only has hourly service here. But it is a West Midlands Railway station with two platforms. Now I'm going to do the station history of Adley Park Railway Station before we film some more trains and then move on to our next location. So we're now looking at Adley Park Railway Station and going to do its station history. Adderley Park opened on the 1st of August 1860 by the London North Western Railway. In 2004 it was threatened with closure of the station, but the threat was cancelled and was reduced from a 30 minute service to an hourly service, which still has its hourly service today. My time is up at the Park Station. Now I'm going to be moving on to Stetford Station. But after Stetford Station, there's actually more services that do stop at these stations that I'm visiting at today. This is the only one that's got the hourly service. So we are waiting for the train from Rouge Trent Valley to arrive to take us to Stetford, which carries on to Birmingham International.
So this is the second station we've visited today, Stetchford, and the last time I was here, those lifts weren't here. It was actually an old footbridge you had to get from platform one and platform two. Now what's interesting about Stetchford is as well, it does actually have a third platform which is just over here. But this line here actually comes from Aston. Because there was a line that was built in 1882 between Aston to Stetchford. That's why this station was recited, I think. But we'll explain that in the station history in a minute. I think the original station is just beyond that bridge down the bottom. But yeah, so it has three platforms, West Midlands Railway Station. Now, you do get more trains stopping here actually. We only got the Rouge Trev Valley to Bergen International Services stopping here. And we do have a Birmingham New Street to Birmingham International Shuttle that stops here. But the funny thing is, the Birmingham International to Birmingham New Street Shuttle was actually a original service. I think it left Birmingham by about 11.39 to Birmingham International. But the Rushi trains have taken that service, which is interesting. But we are going to be seeing 350.122 all day, I'm afraid. But anyway, we're going to do the station history of Stetford Station. Carry on doing some more filming. We're now looking at Stetford Station, and we're going to do its station history. It was opened on the 12th of December 1844, but this wasn't the site of the original station. This is where the original Stetford station was between 1844 to 1882. The platforms were recited on the 1st of February 1882, and this is where we're standing now. It also had different names during its time. It had Stetford for Yardley, Stetford and Stetford Gates. On the 28th of February 1967, this was the scene of a train collision when a Class 24 diesel arrived on a Barish train due to return to the Deaton. But a Class 304 EMU on a Manchester Coventry service collided with the locomotive at 60 miles an hour. This happened because of a shunting error at Stetford Station. But nine people died while 16 people were injured. It has been funny here at Stetchford. We even got a DRS Class 66 on a freight train. I think that was going to Doncaster Airport. We are waiting for the 1225 service to Birmingham International now, which is going to the next destination, Lee Hall. But before we leave here, there is a question I want to ask. And it's just over here. How could that mattress over there is standing on that retaining wall still? Interesting thing. It's on the government guidelines. Please visit www.
So this is the first station visit today, Lee Hall. Now I'm going to disappear now, do a quick station history of this station and again come back. So I'm going to disappear now in 3, 2, 1. So we now look at Lee Hall station and this is the station history. It was designed by William Henry Hamlin and was opened on the 1st of May 1939. And now I'm back. So we're going to be here for an hour field with some trains passing through here. Again, you only get the stopping services from the Birmingham International to Birmingham New Street shuttle and the Rouge Trent Valley to Birmingham International services. Now my next plan is, after this station is, that I'm not going to do Master Green just yet. Even though Master Green is the last station and the next station I'm filming at. I'm just going to have a little break. So what I'm doing is I'm catching this train just about half past one from here. Then I'm going to Birmingham International. And then I'm going to double back on myself from Birmingham International to Master Green so I can have the full hour filming at Master Green Station. So we're just going to film a few more trains now before that 1328 arrives to take me to Birmingham International. To be honest, Lee Hall is actually a brilliant location. It's just wonderful how this uh, waiting shelter is here. It's actually the same on this side as well. But uh, we'll also notice, if we just uh, we'll step back a little bit, a little bit further, that the stairs here are actually out of use at the moment. They are closed. So I think if you want to leave Lee Hall station, you've got to use the ramps down the bottom end of the station. But no, there is a footbridge here that takes you up to the station building on the top here. The next train to arrive at platform two. Just calling for my train now. So I'm going to Birmingham International. I made it to Birmingham International and this is where the Rouge Trent Valley service is terminated at but our journey is still continuing because I'm going to be jumping back on 354.01 
and heading to Barston Green, which is my final location. Instead of getting off at Barston Green and having a bit longer there, I thought I'd have a little bit of a break, have a toilet break, get something to eat, and then leave here at 13.45 so I can get to Barston Green, have a four hour Barston Green station, and then carry on my journey back to Rugeley. But also, since about Burger International, that music's um, in my head again. Yeah, the music from the airplane movie. So it's about airport. So, like I said, I'm just going to jump on this now, get to a tweet, and then we're going to do Master Green Station. I'm now at the fourth station of the day of business at Barston Green after a quick turnaround at Birmingham International. Had something to eat, had a toilet break, and now I feel refreshed for this station, even though it's the last station I'm filming at. Also, I didn't want to be here over an hour, so that's why I went to Birmingham International. Because after I leave here, I'm heading straight back to Rooster Tread Valley from Marston Green. You can hear airplanes in the background because I'm right next to Birmingham Airport, which is just in that direction over there. I'll try and put in a play clip if I can, but if not, I do apologise if I won't be able to. But we're here for the trains, not for the planes, even though it's a good spot to film and photograph trains and planes, to be honest. So, the one thing I have noticed today is 35122, which is on a short between Bergen New Street and Bergen International. It's only stopping at Lee Hall in Stetchford. It doesn't stop here at Master Green, and it doesn't stop at Adderley Park as well. But however though, the Birmingham to London services for London North Western Railway and the Birmingham Northampton services for London North Western Railway do stop at this station. So we've actually got more trains stopping here than we usually have. So I'm going to do the station's history of Master Green Station, even though it's a bit confusing when I've read it and try to get the notes ready. And then we'll fill some more trains afterwards.
Now we're looking at Marston Green Station. We'll do the station history, and this actually confused me. Because according to Wikipedia, the station was open on 9th of April 1838. But other sources says it was open on 12th of December 1844. Now, I don't know which one is right, to be honest, but I think it's the 1844 date. But, however, though, none of the original station features survived and was replaced during the 1970s. interested there because that Birmingham International to Burger New Street that's supposed to speed through actually stopped here and the London service for Burger New Street actually went through here. So what I just said before the station's history was completely nonsense because apparently the London train didn't stop here but the Birmingham New Street shuttle service did stop here. Please support social distancing by standing back and allowing passengers to alight the train before you attempt to board your service. Thank you. Three fifty two three one has just arrived at Barcelona Green. That is my train back to Rooster Tread Bay once it turns around at Bergen New Street. So I'm on a 350 slash 2 back to Rugeley. Rather not, but that's how it is. I trade down the bottom here and this is the 1448 to Rushi Trev Valley. So I'm going to be catching the 1448 out to Rushi Town, get back to Rushi Town and I'm going to summarise the day off. But it has been a good day between Berwick International and Berwick New Street.
I'm now back at Rougie Town Railway Station and to be honest it has really been a good day where I went to today because we did all the stations between Bergen New Street and Bergen International. So we started here at 9.24 in the morning and went to Adderley Park straight away from here without changing at Bergen New Street which was something that I'd never done before but to be honest it was absolutely good indeed. It's a good location, Shelby doesn't have any freight though but you do get a variety of traffic through there like 350 to zeros, 390 pendolinos, 221 super voyages, 220 voyages and transport for Wales class 158 DMUs. So you do get a variety of traffic through there. After um, Adderley Park went over to Stetchford. Now my advice is if you feel me at Stetchford, stay on the Burnley International Bound Platform, Platform 2 and don't go over to Platform 1. But we had a good location there of trains again. Same amount of traffic we had, but we did get a direct rail service Class 66 diesel locomotive that was going to Doncaster Eyeport. That also took the line to Aston, which is a freight over line between Stetchford and Aston. After Stetchford, we went to Lee Hall, and that was a good location again. Filled the same amount of traffic through there no problems indeed. Then I went down to Bergham International just for a quick turnaround to get to Marston Green. Has a full hour at Marston Green and there was only one train running late but that was the Northampton to Bergham New Street which was about 25 minutes late but other than that everything else was all right to be honest. And then we got our train from Marston Green back to Rougie Town Station so it has really been a good day even though that bottleneck on the West Coast Main Line can get congested and sometimes can have massive delays sometimes but we went down there, filled the trains, had a look at the railway stations found out that Lee Hall was the youngest station out before and Marston Green is the oldest station on the line even though it's got two different dates when it opened but other than that it has been good now my next plan, my next trip I don't know where it's going to be because I'm literally like planning these like Sunday or Saturday before I do them on the Monday or Tuesday. So I'm actually planning them closer to time. Now I did have a wonderful idea that I was going to do, which was Nidney, Chepstow and Caldecott. Because they had some great Western Railway diverts through half term. But during half term Wales decided, let's have a national lockdown. So a fire circuit for two weeks, which means all the other essentials shops are closing so guessing in Wales it's going to be non-essential travel is banned so basically I won't be able to do Caldecott and Chepstow might be able to do Lydney but I want to do the three than the one but I don't know yet I think that plan's just going to be off now so whenever I have another plan in I'll let you know in the next blog but I think it's about time we reached our final destination at Rooster Town Station this blog has been terminated at Rooster Town Station Thank you for traveling with Simon Trades. I'll see you for the next adventure, wherever it will be. Thank you for now. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I hope you enjoyed this blog.